Okay, uh, so my presentation today is related to actually uh, to the recent uh, activity of uh, the uh, the national research priority mandate. So uh, I will uh, uh, well explain briefly about the NBRI. Yes, that's uh, maybe this is a good chance. Uh, and then coming to why is Paris Agreement? Then nickel is the next oil. Indonesia local mineral resources. Uh, national Research Priority Program, uh, MHP, and then the technology process. So uh, this is the dream that someday uh, we have a when there was a conference in uh, in Bogor, uh, conference of Material Research Society, uh, where I I'm the uh, founder of the uh, of the the president of the National uh, MRS INA, and Prof Professor Alan Drew uh, came and we signed the MOU between the Queen Mary and Mat MRS INA, and then. Uh, at that time, we launched the name of uh, National Battery Research Institute, and then uh, he was uh, really appreciated and then support. And then we we apply the grant to Global Challenge Research Fund, and therefore establishing the uh, sorry. Uh, okay, is it okay now? Okay. Oh yeah, but this okay. The National Battery Research Institute is the Indonesia Independent Institute for uh, Electrochemistry and Exploration. My name is uh, Professor Dr. Rena uh, Evi Kartini, founder of the National Battery Research Institute and also the president of the Material Society of Indonesia. So the NBRI aim to contribute to the overall research and training capacity environment in Indonesia. That is, uh, we want to gather the battery stakeholders from industry, researchers, and also from the government level, so we can be independent in, in energy. So we have the vision, the vision of how to, to help uh, for Indonesia to be independent in energy. So we, we are rich with local resources, but uh, unfortunately, up to now, we still uh, depend on the other country. So the NBRI uh, come to contribute the nation so in terms of uh, we provide several activities. Yeah? So we have vision. Our vision, the long vision, is to, to make Indonesia having the manufacture uh, on battery manufacturers uh, using local resource. And the others, uh, we have also the uh, several uh, milestone yeah, uh, that we want to have the uh, center of the testing laboratory because the, the standardization in the battery is very, very important. Our goal is to uh, we have a platform that uh, coming from all over the, uh, the stakeholder, the institution, yeah. And the other, the most important, also we have to prepare of the human resources, yeah. The human resources that uh, and the knowledge is very, very important in this sense. So uh, Indonesia also have the uh, bonus of the demography. There are a lot of millennials. But we have to educate them, we have to train them, yeah? Uh, about this uh, energy uh, storage, about the local resources, about the, the vision, and also about the, the battery itself. So this is also one of the mission of uh, the NBRI. We want to uh, give the program for the internship for them, to educate them, yeah? We can give the skill, also the vocational uh, student, yeah? So uh, we want to have that uh, in the future, the electric vehicle or the energy storage will be uh, uh, applied in, in all the Indonesia uh, area. We do the uh, FGD, uh, focus group discussion. So we make the related topic that we have to discuss, for example, standardization about electric vehicle, about the transportation. So we know for, from the first hand what is going on, yes? We have to know also what is the current state uh, of the technology in battery uh, all over the world. So we make the lecture, yeah, and where I lecture to provide the most current uh, state technology by inviting uh, the famous uh, 
lecture from uh, for example we invite from uh, UK from also from Australia we invite from uh, USA and then uh, we have already invited also from uh, Canada the other that we because uh, NBRI is uh, mostly to provide also for the millennials so we give a chance for uh, for the student of a fresh graduate uh, who have the, the same dream, the same vision, also to give the uh, millennial talks, uh, to share with us. NBRI uh, help also uh, manage uh, one of the program national research priority, mandatory, to become the center of excellence in the research. Yeah, We combine not only the research, we combine also the international networking, we combine also the uh, the private industry, so the result will be uh, directly applied to in the market. So that is what we expect. Because Indonesia is the, the largest uh, nickel resources in the world, but nickel has a value to become the precursor and also to become the cathode of the, the battery. So we know that the future of the nickel uh, to replace the, the gas line. Yeah, that's all that what I can uh, introduce you about the National Battery Research Institute. Thank you for all uh, the support. Yes, and of course, to reach our dream, to become the, uh, the center of excellent innovation in battery and renewable energy that become the leading uh, institute, not only in regional, but international. We hope that uh, all of you can uh, support us uh, financially also, yes, to make the dream come true and build the, the better future, not only for Indonesia, but uh, for all over the world. Thank you. Okay, that's uh, a, a, a brief of the about the NBRI. So, uh, legally, uh, we became the foundation foundation of the Center Excellent Innovation on Battery that established in uh, 17 December 2020. Yeah? So we have the activity, but the uh, legal aspect, we, we just received a few months, but uh, I know we are a growing baby, yeah? just uh, fast moving. So uh, in Indonesia, Yayasan Pusat Unggulan Inovasi Batre dan Energi Terbarukan. So I hope that uh, yeah, this uh, NBRI establishment was supported by the Global Challenge Research Fund uh, through the Queen cooperation with Queen Mary University of London. Therefore, as the co-founder of the NBRI is uh, Professor Alan Drew. Yeah? Okay, this is our vision. Yes, uh, we have mentioned before that uh, to make Indonesia independent. Yeah, this is very important. Not only the resources, but also the human resources. So uh, at the beginning uh, last year, so this is when Prof. Alan came to Indonesia. We met the previous Minister of Research or Technology. So he supported really the NBRI and then actually asked uh, us to to uh, to follow to manage the. PRN, the National Research Priority. That's that's actually direction the, uh, from him. Yeah. Therefore, we now we we also uh, are helping to to manage the National Research Priority. Even at that time, uh, the, there was no program yet. Yeah. But uh, he, he would ask to uh, to involve, and we we already have three time, and then uh, meet with the the new head of Brin, and then f fortunately we could invite him uh, as an opening ceremony, and also give the plenary speakers uh, last Sunday, yes, uh, last Monday, uh, last Tuesday, uh, yeah. This was uh, the discussion, and then uh, yeah. Uh, he, he was uh, really uh, open and for discussion and then uh, really uh, kind for the collaboration with MBRI because this is uh, in line with the program of BRIN uh, and also uh, uh, he said that the, the, the global network is very important. Yes, that's, that's what he mentioned. So uh, the M MBRI has a really a, a broad network with international. So the benchmark, we have to go with the benchmark. Uh, at first, Faraday Institution, because this is the gather of the industry and then the in, uh, university, and then to, uh, yeah, this is to help of the research. That, that's, we, ha we, we, we think to, to f uh, have the funding from the industry, yes, to support. And then uh, there is UK 
Okay, battery industrialization center scale, scale up from lab to fiber. I think uh, this is also uh, we should uh, you know uh, benchmark because if we want to go to industry, not every industry make the pilot plan, but maybe we should provide one center like like UNS so uh, all the industry can can use and can develop many many uh, a new incubator uh, and also Silicon Valley because the Silicon Valley. Uh, uh, okay, uh, deliver many incubator. I think this is the Silicon Valley, like the, like the program with Nexus. Yeah, I think that what uh, um, uh, Prof. Ike mentioned before. Okay, we have the milestone. Yes, that the training standardization that's important. Certification of the pers uh, personnel. Yes, because not not everybody uh, finish from graduate uh, physics, for example, become the expert on battery. Yeah, it takes time to become uh, for Professor Nizam and for myself and Professor Agus Ruanto, Professor Anna to become the expert in, in the battery. Yeah? I think uh, so we need uh, education, yeah? special education. So we want to provide like, like we just had the two weeks uh, ago the battery school, for example. So a startup incubator and then a university, it means that uh, more renewable transport and yeah, uh, to become uh, Indonesia uh, independent. Uh, okay, we have the website. Yes, please open the website, and then we we want to provide the one uh, and berry map, so you can find the research facility in Indonesia that doing the research on battery. What is the highlight, and then the uh, person, the researcher, but the how? What is the end user? Yeah, the end user of uh, like the battery manufacturer. The gasit is actually the end user. Battery manufacturer in Indonesia uh, only two. Uh, the IBC is coming, and then the uh, also interchemical. Yeah, uh, but resources there are so many resources. So we want to make it uh, in one uh, uh, our website. Yeah. So we have also the uh, mapping of the research national battery research. Yeah. We invite from Minister of Research and also uh, Prof. Nizam here. Yeah? So uh, this is what uh, the NBRI uh, for. So NBRI can, can accept uh, any member. Yeah? NBRI is not, not, not tight. Yeah? Everybody can be the member and then can work together. So uh, one the uh, well, if we talk the battery actually starting from the Paris Agreement, Sustainable Development Goal. Yeah? Paris Agreement, uh, actually the uh, uh, the well, the, the, the presidential decree number 55, 2019 is due to this Paris Agreement. Yeah, the the government of Indonesia want also to contribute to reduce the carbon dioxide. Yeah, so therefore they, they make the, the what is the program of the accelerating of the EV and renewable energy. Yeah, so we we. Uh, and where I really, uh, I mean, in line with the program, yeah. Uh, we should mention here also that we have we have the challenge price total with thirty thousand pound sterling, uh, supported by the British Council. Yeah, actually, already uh, the uh, the research price for uh, research uh, already uh, done the selection, but we still open for a dissemination award. So please apply for early career researcher. So we provide ten thousand uh, pound sterling for five award. Yeah, please. Uh, so it's still coming. Okay. So uh, with this Paris Agreement, because we have to reduce. Yeah, we, we don't want to uh, increase the temperature in the world. So it is catastrophe. Yeah, everything. Uh, if we have the flood, uh, if and we have the dry, the forest, the burned forest, and it it makes the uh, uh, well. It it's. Uh, it does not help the the poor people, especially that get the, the well the effect of, of that problem. Yeah, of course we have to uh, enhance resilience, also adaptation to climate. Yes, to, to make it uh, better. Yeah. So with this, uh, the, the government want to uh, to go to this. Uh, making that the the battery actually uh, the car. Yeah, because. Uh, for 25 percent, uh, the contribution of carbon dioxide coming from the transportation, yes, then uh, industry also, yeah. So it means that one one step is uh, to change the convention com combustion engine, the car with the uh, uh, with the battery electric vehicle, yeah. There, if you do this, it means that two things that uh, you remove. First, the pollution. The second, if the fossil fuel, that's uh, the government subsidized to very high with the uh, budget to uh, to uh, for for the gasoline. Yeah. So it means that uh, if we use the battery electric vehicle, two two things that. Uh, 
of course will be uh, will be solved. But of course, the, the other question that discussed yesterday about if we still use the charging station using the pellet source, maybe that also not the answer. So it's, we should also uh, develop the charging station uh, fully renewable. I think that is the, uh, the best way, yes? Okay, so this is the government have the regulation even if we see here uh, 2025 with four wheel drive, 80% should be local content. So this, this is this is that uh, make us to to think about uh, local resources. Yeah. So if we see here, uh, yes, uh, the the transportation. Yeah, the transportation also uh, contribute yeah to to the carbon dioxide. So if we battery are the key technology to achieve Paris Agreement and support the. U uh, United Nations Sustainable Development Goals. Yeah, there are so many that we can we can help if we we are reducing the ca uh, carbon dioxide through the delivering the battery. I mean, using the EV and the renewable. Yeah. Therefore, I said that this component very important. Yeah, because we want to help uh, in this end. Uh, yes, if if the the demand of the use of the electric vehicle increasing. Yes, as you see here, yeah, uh, will be uh, in 2030 will uh, increasing. Yeah, uh, but uh, you you can see here, yeah, it will decrease the carbon dioxide. So this is the the uh, the indirect uh, influence impact if we use the EV. Okay, okay. How about Indonesia? Yeah, battery manufacturing Indonesia. I will not talk about the IBC because it's been uh, discussed uh, by Professor uh, Mr. Agus Cahyana yesterday. Uh, he, he, he talked about the, the coming uh, Indonesia Battery Consortium. But this is my question. Actually, I, I raised this when I met the uh, um, Luhut, yeah, the Minister of uh, Investigation, about asking uh, Indonesia. This was uh, maybe three years ago, two, three years ago, yes, before the pandemic. I met him and gave the lecture in front of him about one hour about the battery and ask about Indonesia, yeah? So, uh, but one, one my concern to him that uh, even wherever uh, the company coming to Indonesia, but please keep uh, the, uh, the expert, the local resources, and then human resources from Indonesia. That, that our wish, yeah? It should be our technology too. Okay, so the the market, the market of the battery actually the uh, well uh, first the ex of course there is an electronic device like mobile phone, the the laptop, etc. But there is also this is a transportation and uh, uh, electric grid service. Yeah, so uh, so the two things this uh, the first this uh, the use of the uh, EV uh, not only for the the bus no no. Uh, the the heavy heavy uh, uh, what is, uh, heavy vehicle also yeah uh, forklift also they use also the the e, uh, the uh, the battery yes yeah? electric vehicle but this is the energy storage and then the the global demand yeah the global demand uh, it's always increasing yeah so we see here the the target in the world yeah they are still increasing uh, the use of the electric vehicle. Uh, yesterday also I, we, we raised the question why uh, not not yet popular in Indonesia. M maybe we need more socialization to the people. Yeah. So uh, this is uh, actually in Indonesia itself. Yes, uh, it increased. Yeah, about twenty uh, times and also about thirty times. You see. Uh, so this is uh, uh, the increase of the uh, demand of the EV and uh, energy storage system. Now, now what about nickel? Indonesia now becoming uh, famous because of the nickel. Okay, so I, I just said that nickel is the next oil. Is it, is it right? That that's my uh, my quote. Yeah, because if you have the electric vehicle uh, and then uh, of course you charge not with the gasoline, you charge with the uh, charging station. So it means that uh, the charging station can come also from the battery, uh, the source. Uh, and also your car is the battery, so uh, we'll see here, yeah? And then inside of the car, 35%, 40 to uh, to 60% actually, they are battery pack that uh, the cost of a car, uh, 40 to 60% from the battery, but inside of the car also 35% the battery pack, yeah? The weight, half of the weight of the car, electric vehicle, belong to uh, the battery. So it means that uh, if we open, the inside of the electric vehicle here, for example, the Tesla one, it consists of thousands of cells, 
uh, 50 ya yeah. so it's mean that it consists of the uh, small cell and then become the module and become the battery pack yeah of course there's bms inverter etc yeah so this is actually uh, what inside the uh, 35% of the car yeah but if you open one by one of these uh, so you see here uh, 1865 it mean 18 mm diameter and then six and half a centimeter is the length you open inside there is uh, in, uh, inside the lithium ion battery 31% is that consists of the cathode yeah the lithium 7% so if we talk this 31% in comparing with the others which is the cathode that's con uh, uh, consisting of Uh, so with the lithium maybe they become uh, almost 40 percent so in in the cathode so recently uh, there are so many development of the uh, cathode material uh, based on the high rich nickel uh, like uh, nca uh, and mc so what the difference is their uh, uh, performance yeah if you you choose the uh, nca the specific energy uh, quite high but the safety is low and then also the cost is quite expensive specific power is good but if you choose the nmc a uh, specific energy quite high uh, well the uh, the cost not expensive as nca the safety is a uh, half but the yeah of course uh, that's depending yeah like uh, lfp yeah the specific energy half of the nmc but the the it's uh, the cycle twice and then also safety so depending on the the company like tesla they choose nca or no no days they choose also nmc both nmc uh, toyota uh, nissan leaf uh, nmc also uh, byd still keep uh, with the L FP. So, but how about the future? The future uh, demand. Yeah, this is from uh, actually the expectation. Yeah, this cathode chemistry by selected manufacturers for uh, the LG Chem, uh, Panasonic, Seattle, and others. They, they are the, the trending. They are going to uh, uh, to NMC 811. Why? Because they have the specific uh, energy high, and then uh, well uh, the cycle and also. Uh, the the excel uh, it can uh, accelerate so so this is quite good so based on this so we have to focus uh, on the research on the 811 because it it is the uh, demanded yeah okay uh, if you see 811 it's mean that 80% of nickel here here and then uh, 10% of mangan and 10% of cobalt. So now you can understand why if the part of the car is the battery and then half of the battery cathode and the, in the cathode is the, there is 80% nickel. So it means mostly of the battery it's uh, coming the price of the nickel. Yeah. So I could say that the nickel uh, changing the, uh, uh, the the what is the uh, uh, the gasoline. So I will have this. Uh, Maybe um, is it difficult. I should stop first. Mm. Okay, maybe it's difficult. Tahu kan kalau dunia akan terus berkembang dan berinovasi. Contohnya kendaraan kita yang kini masih menggunakan bensin yang akan habis sehingga akan berkembang menjadi kendaraan listrik yang bersumber energi terbarukan listrik agar lebih efisien. Mengurangi efek rumah kaca, bahkan emisi karbon sebanyak 43% dibanding mobil biasa. Hebat kan? Semua ada berkat komponen utamanya untuk menumpas energi, yaitu baterai lithium. Baterai lithium adalah baterai dengan emisi besar dan bobot yang ringan. Dibanding baterai biasanya, baterai lithium dapat dicas, sehingga banyak dipakai di barang elektronik sehari-hari. Ada tiga komponen, anoda, katoda, dan separator. Kandungan tertinggi di katoda yaitu nikel, mangan, dan kobalt. Tapi nikelah yang bisa menyimpan energi terbanyak sehingga jadi unsur utama pada baterai lithium dengan rasio terbanyak 80%. Negara kita sangat beruntung karena ternyata Indonesia adalah sumber nikel terbesar di dunia. Harusnya bisa membuat industri dan mengolah material nikel menjadi baterai lithium sendiri. Sayangnya Indonesia belum ada wadah bagi para ahli untuk bersatu dan membuat teknologi yang bisa mewujudkan itu. Maka Menristek menugaskan Ibu Eti untuk memimpin riset mengenai baterai lithium dan materialnya 
yang dilakukan di Uspitek. Ibu Evi telah menekuni teknologi dan material nuklir selama 30 tahun. Ini Ibu Evi menjadi presiden MRS INSS juga mendirikan NDRT. Ketiga organisasi ini saling melengkapi dalam riset pembuatan teknologi yang dapat mengolah nikel dan bahan baku lainnya menjadi baterai lithium. MRS fokus meneliti material seperti nikel dalam pembuatan baterai, NDRT meneliti pembuatan baterai yang efektif, dan INSS fokus mengembangkan teknologi nuklir untuk membaca kerja lithium dalam baterai. Ketiganya, selain bertujuan memajukan penelitian, juga menjadi wadah bagi para ahli di Indonesia untuk terus bekerja sama mengembangkan inovasi teknologi energi di Indonesia. Dengan kayanya sumber daya alam dan kemampuan mengembangkan teknologi sendiri, Indonesia akan menjadi negara yang independen dan inovatif. Oke, okay. uh, ya. Yeah. That that was uh, last year competition. So I know uh, I know want uh, want to explain that where, where we are. Yes, actually uh, Professor Nizam here is the coordinator of the national research priority. Yeah, uh, of the energy sorts of the national, and uh, I have the assignment or duty uh, to. Uh, coordinate the the work freedom structure three yes that is the extraction of the mineral resources to become the active material and also the feasibility study so this is our dream yeah the, in the first year we have to uh, understand so we we have to learn about the process the technology that is the first if we even we have the local resources if we don't understand how to process it's just forget it yes so the first step is to understand and then of course the the, the next uh, this year we want to have also the uh, the active material which uh, we make the pilot plan yeah the pilot plan uh, we, we we develop which uh, we can produce one kilogram per batch yeah and then in the future we have to increase and then increase again until become the really uh, the industry so so step by step yeah? but we have to focus at the beginning we have already focused to 811 yeah so if we have we see here okay so see nickel nickel indonesia is the first the uh, well uh pay a fitter so the nickel reserve indonesia is that uh, the highest in the world yeah so we have the nickel reserve uh, about 21 000, uh, million tons yeah here but the you know the production in indonesia is very low still 27 percent so this is uh we have to to speed it up yeah we have to use the nickel to 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 make a a good product yeah to to, to utilize them so uh the this uh, distribution of the nickel it's uh, mostly in uh sort uh sort uh, uh sumatra uh, uh uh, Sulawesi and also uh, uh, in, in in Timor, yeah. So uh, this is the part uh, of the, uh, the distribution of the nickel in Indonesia. And then if you see here the production and then the consumption, yeah, we still the the lowest for the consumption, yeah. And then uh, inside of uh, well, I'm not not metallurgist, but uh, well, this is the. Uh, you have the profile of the nickel laterite in Indonesia, so you can find the laterite, the limonite, the saprolite, and different kind. Yeah, but it consists uh, if consisting of the co uh, nickel, which is less than 1.7 percent. Uh, it you can use that uh, as the uh, raw material for the battery but if it higher than that you can use as a steel so this is what happened in uh, Morowali yeah Morowali Indonesia Morowali plan so they, they are uh, here's a smelter of course from nickel ore to become the uh, the MHP you need the HPL yeah this is the product yeah so uh, so the, this is uh, we need the, in Indonesia, yeah. I, I'm sure that the uh, Antam will 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 build, yeah, with this consortium uh, as a smelter of uh, HPL, yeah. So one of the the closest one is in Banten. Name is Smelter Nickel Indonesia. So we visited the the place, yeah. Why? Uh, okay. So because this is uh, to produce the MHP starting point, yeah. So the uh, the nickel nitrate is the main source, uh, yes. That uh, co contribute about the seventy percent as I. We I mentioned before, yes, and then the proven technology to to um, to transform, yeah, from uh, nickel or 
to become the uh, MHP through using the uh, HPAL, yeah, the HPAL uh, technology. And this is the the first production that we we have to uh, to have. And then uh, so after we visit to the smelter national Indonesia, so we receive that the example of the uh, MHP uh, that product. Uh, look, of course, this is local resources. Yeah, we came with the ITB professor from ITB professor uh, Zaki Mubarak, which is in also in our team. Yeah, so we we try to to study uh, to characterize what what is inside. Yes, that is uh, important. At the beginning, we just put the SAM and then, uh, well, it's like the uh, hygroscopic and then we check again that is some uh, carbon and, uh, but the nickel is not seen here. So we, we have to do, you know, uh, we have to do uh, a lot of uh, when, uh, processing and then finally after, uh, this is like amorphous, we don't see that, but we do the thermal characterization and we see there is some change. So it means that we had to heat it up. And then after we, we do the heat it up up to uh, 850 centigrade, so we obtain this uh, nickel containing in, in the MHP. That is the first, yeah? Because this is, should be a benchmark and we have to understand what we are going to do. So we collaborate with Lampung also. We use uh, with uh, other uh, PTBGN and PSTA. They have the XRF we send. And then uh, this is the nickel containing in 81% in MH, MHP. And the cobalt also is there. So uh, the, the process is, the next process is to change this MHP to become nickel sulfate and cobalt sulfate. So, uh, so if you see here, the from laterite, limonite, uh, acid leaching, they become MHP, and then there is leaching solution, uh, solvent extraction to become nickel sulfate and cobalt sulfate. So, so this is the next step. So, who, who are doing this? This part, yes. Who are doing this? Is the our uh, our team uh, from uh, Bandung Institute of Technology from the Department of um, Metallurgy. Uh, Professor Zaki Mubarak, yeah, and his team to produce the MHP to become nickel sulfate and cobalt sulfate. Yeah, if you see here the mangan ore coming from Lipi Lampung, so they, they changed the mangan ore become mangan sulfate, and in our uh, workshop here in our facility, so it changed to become the precursor and cathode. So we hope also from uh, Lipi uh, they can uh, produce the lithium carbonate. So all the material. Uh, which high local content that is uh, our, our uh, pro proposed yeah so the first to change this to become uh, nickel sulfate and cobalt sulfate there are some uh, treatment of course the uh, with uh, uh, separation extraction leaching etc in detail you should uh, you know uh, actually already presented in this conference by professor jackie as the keynote yes uh, so uh, so this is the process, uh, and then uh, from uh, material MSP, and then uh, extraction, and then become solution, and then finally uh, you. This is the target. You want to have the nickel sulfate, yeah. So uh, I have already asked to uh, Professor Zaki, and then he will send us uh, one kilo of the result of the nickel sulfate and cobalt sulfate from the MHP. Okay, that is one. And the next is the uh, processing mangan ore to mangan sulfate, yeah. So it's been done by the our collaborator from Lipi. Uh, so uh, so from this is mangan ore, they do also the leaching process, filtration, and then at the beginning they are still uh, containing the sodium hydroxide so we have to repeat again so because the impurity will also affect the the uh, when the quality of the result yeah so uh, finally they find uh, the best uh, uh, using the i think the uh, car caracaco2 uh, yeah this is the uh, the gypsum yeah so uh, with different uh, the different material and then we because we want to uh, reach 80 at least 85 uh, percent purity yeah so this is the the result i think the the best we we can get from uh the uh, F, uh fa this is the uh, less than uh with using the calcium hydroxide yeah so uh well we haven't get the hundred percent but i think we have to work on yeah we're still going on Okay, the, the, the last that very important is to become from sulfate to cathode, yeah? So uh, we have the integrated metallurgy and battery uh, facility, yes? Uh, yes, uh, and then, uh, so uh, we, 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 we design at the beginning of the National Research Priority Program. This is the metallurgy area that uh, we have all the line production. At the beginning, we design all the equipment. We buy a, a design and then it made in a local content. And then this is the, the battery uh, area. But uh, 
the the black one uh, is already uh, uh, exists the green one is in uh, the process the the red one's not yet yeah so uh, based on the uh, discussion with uh, prof nizam uh, so maybe we're going to to six six five yeah so so uh, so this is the production line so we start from uh, producing the the mineral water and then uh, we make the precursor which is the with the capacity of 20 liters that one production uh, we have the steel tank here and and then uh, we do the uh, filtering and then uh, drying and of course afterward we mix the lithium yes uh, we do the milling and then uh, calcination so so that the, we have done many many uh, sample to to get the the best uh, result uh, more than 35 I think the numbering yes so we have to do 24 hours to to, to reach this yeah finally uh, yeah this is the the uh, what is the, the the material raw material we use the cobalt sulfate and the mangan sulfate and then this is the precursor this is from oxalate and we we obtain one kilogram per batch i mean from uh, this is the precursor and then we have to proceed before that we have we do the characterization and then we check with the uh, all this uh, see with the uh, here the commercial is already good so we continue and then finally we get the uh, the precursor uh, with the NMC with ca uh, carbonate yes this is containing 81% of the uh, uh, nickel here and cobalt uh, 9.6 and then mangan 6.7.16 it's almost closing to 811 yes not exactly but closing closer yeah and then also we uh, so you have to do the mix with the lithium carbonate to obtain the active material that's the first one the second precursor uh, from the oxalate yeah we uh, so the 80 percent this is also closer yeah and then uh, cobalt 11 and mangan 7 percent so afterward we mix again and then we obtain uh, active material 811 so the result we could say that uh, we are successful our team successfully uh, obtain this is the standard which is uh, the you have to see this is the uh, the comparison of the uh, uh, what is the peak of uh, 003 to uh, 04 1.3.9 in the standard yeah so our result 1.35 yeah so it means that our results good this is the oxalate one this is the carbonate so we could say that uh, our product at the beginning the technology uh, we we understand and then we can produce a good one so but we have still have to make whether it reproduce or not yeah so this is also the comparison of the standard Okay, so what we have done actually a small part currently from what the IBC, yeah, we, we, we already start. When they are planning in 2024, we already started even uh, only small amount. They said they are, they are producing town, we, we, we produce a kilogram, but we have to start right now. Okay, uh, well, I don't read this, uh, but uh, I want to read the next plan, improvement of the product. So we have to give the rep, uh, the product reproducibility and increasing capacity. But of course, there should be a novelty, yeah? So uh, I would say that uh, I'm great with, with the team uh, in, uh, yes, uh, not only in BRI and all the parent team. So uh, I, I feature one of the, I think the best, uh, it had been quoted by uh, Rare Earth because it will increase the, uh, specific capacity the voltage then and it's uh, the so it's been done yeah in very short time and then uh, because it uh, the NMC can be uh, improved by doping or coating. Yeah, it's been done, and then the results showing that uh, improvement from the uh, the original, the standard pristine. Pristine is the NMC uh, 811. Yeah, so uh, I think this is uh, I'm, I'm very great with this, and then it show that uh, well, uh, of course, uh, what what my question to to the team is whether possible to make it a higher scale. Yeah. So this is only small scale, but we have to increase. The other also we have done the uh, dope, yes, that's uh, by the research assistant here, and then uh, and then they they try to make the uh, another eight one one by doping, the other coating and doping. So we are still going on with this, but uh, we have a good result too. And then of course we have to learn uh, many things, and not only eight one one. So in the group we have 
develop 111, 622, and then also Graphen, etc. So many uh, we have done, and then uh, this is the, the result. And then also uh, beside the research, we have to do the market study and policy, yeah? market study of local mineral resources, market study of electric vehicle, future uh, market, etc. and then energy policy, and so many that I cannot put here, but uh, yeah, uh, we have to do. One most uh, attractive thing that we have also to encourage to have the uh, modification, so this is the task for the University of Ponegoro student to uh, to modify the uh, yes, uh, the the uh, more uh, conventional bike uh, with the uh, what is the to become the electric bike. So they design the battery, put uh, all the motor, etc. But we provide, and I'm sure by the end of June it will be ready. Yeah. So this is the team uh, for the material, and then so I'm happy to have them. Yeah. Uh, so uh, this is also Prof Nizam coming to visit us. Yes, this will be patent by us, uh, by the license, license. And then of course uh, the others opportunity, uh, the NBRI will give the school. Yes, that uh, we just currently uh, having uh, last week. Uh, and then understanding how about the reverse engineering, about the gasoline battery, and we try to develop, try to, to quality control. Uh, implementing yes this is uh, producing implementing it is very important we have also the installation the smart uh, light uh, lightning here in our workshop so already done uh, by uh, Rido yeah uh, and then so trying to understand uh, how the energy work and then uh, the others that uh, I think this is also uh, uh, should uh, be known that is the power wall which is uh, already put uh, I think uh, I'm as the first customer which uh, is 3 kilowatt uh, hour in uh, in my home to as a backup power from uh, maybe for the second floor yeah my house is uh, for 4.4 4 kilowatt hour and then we make the uh, power wall uh, with the uh, kilowatt hour i think this is the innovation yeah so the product and then of course uh, we can use is the hybrid uh, and then energy storage portable we can use uh, bring everywhere and then yes that we have the partnership with industry with komatsu with the ibima with others with yeah i cannot say one but but here, uh, uh, I think a few weeks ago, also we have the uh, collaboration with Nexus. Therefore, uh, Mr. Yika coming here, and then we maybe, uh, yeah, I, I'm also uh, reviewing their uh, hackathon and giving the talk. And yeah, so this is the kind of the collaboration we hope uh, we can uh, we can do uh, together. Yes, uh, we would like to acknowledge this uh, support from LPDP through the National Research Priority Mandatory Number 84 E1 PRN 2020 Energy Storage 2020 under the Ministry of Research and Technology and our partner partner, uh, well, previously, uh, well, the Minister is that in Brin, uh, LPDP, and then Batan, uh, Infinity Energy, National Battery Research Institute, uh, ITB, and LIPI for uh, their uh, co collaboration with us, uh, with all this uh, to make it happen, and also to uh, Queen Mary University and uh, Global Challenge Research Fund, and also uh, to uh, support from uh, Telkom Indonesia. So thank you uh, for your attention. Uh, I give back to uh, the moderator.